coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. DJI introduces sub 250 gram Mini 3 drone. Matternet pushes boundaries of drone delivery. And German Heron TP receives type certification. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. DJI introduces sub 250 gram Mini 3 drone. DJI has introduced its Mini 3, a compact, ultra-lightweight camera drone which, at a mass of less than 249 grams, is exempt from UAV regulations in many parts of the world. The Mini 3's 34mm camera sensor films 4K high dynamic range video and 12 megapixel photos and makes use of true vertical shooting, a social media friendly feature that allows the gimbal within which the Mini 3's camera is housed to rotate 90 degrees, thereby facilitating seamless transitions between landscape and portrait orientations. The Mini 3 includes DJI's standard intelligent flight battery, which provides a maximum flight time of 38 minutes. Sorties can be extended by up to 51 minutes with the company's Intelligent Flight Battery Plus. DJI O2 digital video transmission delivers a 720 pixel, 30 frame per second live feed from up to 10 kilometers away while using powerful anti-interference technology to deliver a reliable connection throughout flight operations. Resistant to winds as high as 10.7 meters per second, the Mini 3 is capable of hovering steadily and delivering stable images even under challenging meteorological conditions. DJI's Mini 3 drone features quick shots, a suite of pre-programmed flight and filming protocols that facilitates outstanding content creation in both landscape and vertical shooting. The DJI Mini 3 Fly More combo includes the DJI RC remote controller, shoulder bag, two-way charging hub, and two extra intelligent flight batteries for the retail price of $798. US And after the break, NASA sees safe return of Orion. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. And now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. NASA sees safe return of Orion. The Orion spacecraft safely and successfully splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, dropping west of Baja, California on a lazy Sunday morning after orbiting the moon. The test began on November 16th when the Orion was sent off to evaluate its capability to bring astronauts to the moon for Artemis II. The result is promising, with the Orion successfully looping around the moon and returning safely to Earth during its 25-and-a-half-day flight. During its journey, the spacecraft performed two lunar flybys, coming within 80 miles of the moon's surface. Rotor X Aircraft Introduces Dragon Ultralight eVTOL Advanced Tactics has teamed with Arizona's Rotor X Aircraft Manufacturing Company to surreptitiously develop and demonstrate Dragon, the world's first aircraft factory-built ultralight eVTOL personal air vehicle kit. The design of the Dragon eVTOL derives in part of the Rotorway Scorpion, a 1967 vintage one-seat contraption gone down in history as the world's first kit-built helicopter. 
The first production Dragon kits are slated to roll off the assembly line of a new Rotorex manufacturing facility in Chandler, Arizona in the third quarter of 2023. UAvionics announces improved BB Loss product lineup. Avionics manufacturer UAvionics announced an updated product line for uncrewed aircraft to provide enhanced beyond visual line of sight, command, and control. The Skyline C2 management platform ecosystem is headlined by the firm's Multilink, a cutely abbreviated way of describing a combination LTE and radio-based uplink for roving UAVs. While the flight equipment for drones continues its march onward, recent developments seem to be aiming for enhanced command over such aircraft while deployed outside immediate RF range. Joby partners with Aviation High School for AMT Curriculum. Joby Aviation has begun working with Aviation High School in New York City to prepare the next generation of aircraft maintenance technicians and aerospace leaders for career opportunities created by the electric age of flight. The company has allowed 100 students to begin its private pilot ground school course, teaching them the fundamentals of aviation. The company has provided additional materials on electric propulsion systems and other technologies into its curriculum. And that's it for our Next Gen Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Matternet pushes boundaries of drone delivery. Mountain View, California's Matternet is a developer of commercial drone delivery systems for urban and suburban environments. By dint of its M2 drone and Matternet software platform, the company serves consumers directly or in partnership with logistics organizations the likes of United Parcel Service. In 2017, Matternet became the world's first company to be authorized to perform BV loss drone operations over cities in Switzerland. In 2019, the company partnered with UPS to launch drone delivery services in the U.S. and together started the first revenue drone delivery operations in the United States. In 2022, Matternet M2 became the first drone delivery system to achieve standard type certification by the FAA. On December 12th, Matternet announced it had commenced test operations along a 5-kilometer BV loss route over the west-central Swiss city of Zurich. Subject route, the longest of its type, will be used to transport diagnostic samples between Zurich's Tremley and Vade Hospitals, both part of Stadtspital Zurich, a municipal hospital owned by the city of Zurich. Matternet founder and CEO Andreas Raptopoulos remarked, quote, Launching this new service for Stadtspital Zurich is an important moment for Matternet, but also for the future of both healthcare and logistics services, end quote. And after these messages, German Heron TP receives type certification. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. German Heron TP receives type certification. Israel Aerospace Industries has obtained a German type certification for the Heron TP, a medium altitude, high endurance, uncrewed aircraft. Undoubtedly helpful in the process was the fact that the Heron is a joint effort with Airbus DS Airborne Solutions, as well as its long combat history throughout Afghanistan and Mali in German and Israeli operations. Airbus DS and Airbus subsidiary naturally ran point on the type certification effort, which required multiple systems to be adapted for compliance with modern civil airspace standards along with the Stanag 4671. 
With the changes, Airbus DS, IAI, and the German Military Aviation Authority cooperated to tame the piles of documentation produced by such an effort, proving the system ready for certification. German Military Aviation Authority Director Jan K. Bart said, quote, Together we have achieved a true milestone. The German Heron TP has become the first UAV in the German Armed Forces and probably the first UAV in the world to fully comply with an internationally agreed airworthiness code. It is probably the first unmanned aircraft system which fully complies to the latest revision of NATO's airworthiness code. This huge success could only be achieved by a high degree of professionalism on all sides and a close and excellent cooperation of the involved industry partners and authorities." End quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!